Chop, 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 chop. Mm. Mandarin, mid note, passion fruit, bass note, amber. How do you? How are you? That's good. Please. Somebody. It could be you. It might be you. It might be you. Hey everybody, it's Adrian, aka No Sense Frags. And it's been a while. I'm trying to get these videos out a little bit faster. But I am super, super busy. But today I want to do a special review um, of Zoologist. And the first is going to be Hummingbird. First and foremost, I want to like to thank Victor Wong for actually sending me a sample to actually try out. Thank you, sir. I'm really, really proud and grateful that you would actually even send me a sample. But I'm going to, I want to thank you. Truly appreciate it. Um, here's a sample, you guys. All right. It's a lot of notes. I'm blind, so I can't read it off this, but I'll let you get to it in a minute. So I just want to get the notes out of the way because it's a lot of them. This is going to be a little bit different of a review because I'm trying some things out. Oh, before I get into it, I got some good news. I just ordered me a, a, a decent camera, so the quality of the videos are going to be, is going to be a lot better. So just be patient. I'll let you guys know when that's coming. So let's get into the notes. Um, the top notes are going to be apple, cherry, citrus, lilac, lily of the valley, plum, rose, and violet leaf. The mid is going to be honey, honeysuckle, mimosa, uh, tulip, and lang lang. The base notes are going to be amber, coumarin, cream, moss, musk, sandalwood, and white woods. A lot, a lot of notes. Okay. This is almost, this is really truly empty. I'm just trying to see if I can get a little out hey, hold on one second so hey, come on it's coming so when I spray this I get off the top cherries cream and a lilac now by being a lot of notes they were blended beautifully oh speaking of notes let me get you the name of the perfumer I forgot all about it. I'm sorry people um, it is Shelly Waddington. Great job, Shelly. I can't hats off to you. All right, this came out in 2015, and it comes in one size, uh, 60 ml to or the 20 ounce for 125 dollars. It is an eau de parfum, and trust me, it is well worth the juice. I never thought that I would ever say this about any fragrance, and I love. You, you guys pretty much know I'm I'm crazy about Dunhill's Man. I'm crazy about um, Millicene Imperial by Creed. But I found me one fragrance. In my personal opinion, this is my opinion, and I'm not saying this because Mr. Wong sent me this sample. I finally found the golden juice that gets a 10 out of 10. And here's why I say that. Okay. One, I live in Texas, so it's pretty hot. And I actually wore this when I went to San Antonio last weekend. So, having said that, I'm going to say this. In those conditions, and it was like 100, 101 all four days we were there. So, I'm going to say this. The reason why I give it a 10 out of 10, first of all, the scent, the fragrance itself, is, is absolutely fabulous. Yes, it's unisex, but it's kind of gearing a little bit more to the feminine side. But would I rock this? The hell out of it, I would rock. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> let me get back on track. Um, projection. This gets monster projection. I'm talking about four plus hours. And when I say projection, I mean people are going to smell you five, six, seven feet away. Now, this is what I got in 100 degree weather, okay? So, and my wife just kept saying, oh my God, that just smells so good. And I just kept going, yeah, and it's not enough for you. So, <laughs> let me get back on track. So, if you spray this on your clothes, let's just say, um, it's gonna be on there for a, a few weeks. <laughs> I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to you. If you spray in your clothes, I spray, I, the shirt that I wore, I kid you not, and I sweated like a madman at the day I wore it. Um, we got home, we unpacked, and I hadn't washed those clothes yet. 
okay? A week and a half went by before I even touched those clothes. And I went to grab the shirt and I could still really smell hummingbird. And it was like, wow. Now, keep in mind, I was sweating really, really bad. But this is going to sound crazy. My shirt wasn't funky. I mean, it really smelled like I just sprayed hummingbird. I kid you not. Okay, get back on track. So, having said that, um, this will stay on you. I got, let me backtrack because I don't know what to do on you. But for me, I got at least 18 hours out of this juice. I sprayed it on about 7 o'clock in the morning. And I woke up the next day about 6, 5, 6. After sweating, after walking, I could still smell this on me. I kid you not. So, getting back to everything else. Great sillage, great projection, and trust me, when I got in the car, ooh, to me, this is the perfect fragrance, okay? And I say that because you can wear it summer, spring, winter, fall, and I kid you not. Um, me personally, would I wear it in the winter? No, because of, like for me, when I'm in the winter time, I like to smell, you know, the warmer, uh, sweeter type you know, the typical cliche, the Gourmandi type fragrances. Now, don't get me wrong. Would I wear it in the winter? Yeah, I would. But not around Christmas or Thanksgiving. Those two days, no. But every other time, yeah, I would. Um, it performs wonderful in the heat. I, mean, I, I can't lie. Um, spring, excellent. Fall, excellent. This is just a great overall, for me, scent. I would wear it to work. I don't think I would offend anybody because it's such a light airy i almost want to say it's kind of fruity fresh um but it is man it's just beast mode um i would not wear it out on to date because i wouldn't want to take how can i say this i wouldn't want to overshadow uh my wife or whoever I, well, i'm not dating anybody else but my wife, um, I would tone it down just a little bit because on date nights, I want her to come in more so than have to smell me away. I want her to get close, get what I'm drifting. So, I'm going to say this. This is going to be a quick, quick video. Hold on, let me check my notes because, you know, guys, I don't uh, typically do things like everybody else does. Um, that's it. Um, I'm going to leave the link for, zoo for zoologist website. In the description box below um just a quick video um, again i want to thank victor wong for even sending me the sample and i promise you i will be ordering a bottle very very soon um it just took me a minute to get to it i'm guys i apologize again this is adrian aka no sense frags remember to like share comment and subscribe oh i got great news too i finally reached 600 subscribers so that means it's 600 people who actually like to hear me talk <laughs> My family don't, but that's something wholly different, totally different. So I want to thank you guys. I appreciate you. Remember to leave some comments below. I like interacting with you guys. I try to respond as fast as I possibly can, or I try to respond to all comments. I think I do a pretty good job. I want to thank you guys. I'm working on trying to zero in a chunk of my time every week to start putting up more videos. But when I get my new camera, I promise you I will. Uh, remember to like, be kind to one another. Um, we're living in a crazy world right now. And remember, we all have to occupy the planet. So be good to one another. And as always, smell good. And I'm out. Please, please, check them out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And, oh, side note, my brothers, my brothers, if you put this, now don't get me wrong, like I said, it's unisex. But if you put this, on your young lady or the person you dating she won't keep her hands off you won't be able to keep your hands off of her and vice versa fellas if you put this on she gonna have a hard time keeping her hands off of you it's one of those ones like i said it's unisex to me um it's geared more to the feminine but as a man i can see i can see me rocking this in a heavy rotation 
This probably be with would be my Friday and Saturday sets, hands down. So Dunhill, don't get mad. I still love you, but this hummingbird baby, pss, you better ask somebody. I'm out. Oh yeah, I'm coming up doing some videos for my hometown very very soon. So leave some comments below to see what videos you'd like to see me do reviews of while I'm in Detroit. And I'm out. Love one another, please. I love you guys. Spread the love. I <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And I'm out for sure now. I'm gone. See you later. <laughs> I'm just joking. Bye.